Hello. Today, I am going to make copy of CNC 3018. I have tried to make it simple and low cost. Watch the complete video, I am sure at the end you will be able to make your own. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon, as I am already working on many exciting projects so you will be able to watch all new videos. First of all we have to make a bed for our machine. As we know our machine has work area of 30 cm by 18 cm so I am using 2060T slot aluminium profiles 3 pieces cut to the length of 300 mm for each. For joining 3 profiles I have drilled some holes in 2020 profile. I am using M5 round head flip screws with M5 hammer drop T-nut. Align the T-nut parallel to the profile slot and gently tighten the screws one by one. Repeat the same procedure for other side. Our bed is ready now. For the frame I have cut two 2020 profile to the length of 330 mm with counter board holes 10 mm away from each edge. Another counter bore hole 58 mm away from the edge. Two profiles cut to the length of 360 mm with M6 thread tapped on both sides. I am using M6 20 mm socket head screw to join the base frame. Make sure the direction of counter bore holes is same. So our base frame is ready now. I have cut two profiles 220 mm of length with 6 mm counter bore hole at one edge 10 mm apart from the edge and M5 tap on the other edge. As I am using V slotted as hole of 4.2 mm so tap size for T slot profile is M5. While joining the legs make sure the direction of counter bore holes is facing right and left outside of the frame respectively. I have used M5 25 mm socket head screws to join the legs of X axis frame. Make sure the X axis legs are straight and aligned with base frame you can use a tri square to check it. I have another 330 mm profile tapped M5 on both edges I am using a single profile to join the x-axis frame just to reduce the cost. So our frame is ready now. I have 4 bearings of LM8UU and 3D printed the bearing housing you can find the STL file in the description for 3D printed parts. Just put the bearing on housing with a gentle press and use a hammer for gentle tapping to fit bearing in housing. Repeat the same procedure for other 3 bearings you can use a butane torch or a heat gun in 3D printed part if it's tighter on bearing. I have already inserted 3 LM8UU bearings in spindle holder and a T-nut with 4 M420 screws. For LM10UU bearings inserted in X carriage. T8-nut placed with the help of 4 M3 Philip head screws. 608ZZ bearing already inserted in Z-axis. NEMA 17 stepper motor with 8 to 5 mm aluminium coupler mounted on Z axis with the help of 4 M3 15 mm Phillip head screws. 2 8 mm smooth rod 110 mm long inserted from the bottom holes of Z axis. Now put the spindle mount on rods and gently press the rods inside the spindle holder bearings.
Now insert the 100mm T8 lead screw from the bottom, rotate it inside the nut and gently press it into the coupling. Once screw is in its place, tighten the coupling screws. Insert the T8 nut in Y-axis T-nut holder and hold it with M3 nut and screws, I don't have proper size M3 screws so I cut down the extra length of screws with the help of cutter you can use M3 screws of 35mm length that will fit properly. Insert the AR610016 bearing in Y-axis screw and bracket. Now mount the Y-axis bearings under the bed with M5 10mm screws and M5 hammer drop T-nut, do not tight it too much just a gentle press. Place the other bearing and insert the 10mm rod which is already cut to the length of 330mm for Y-axis. Slide the rod in bearing so it will align them and then you can tight the second bearing. Repeat the same procedure for other side. Tight the T8 nut holder 135mm away from either side. Our Y-axis is ready now. Mount the NEMA 17 motor plate with M3 8mm screws along with coupler for Y-axis. Now insert 10mm rods of length 330mm in Y-axis and then mount the SK10 end bracket on each end of the rod, use M5 10mm screws with M5 hammer drop T-nuts. Flip the bed and adjust the SK-10 brackets on frame so that all the nuts fits inside the frame slots. Bed should slide smoothly from one end to the other. Place the Y-axis end bracket with the help of M5 10mm screw, do not tighten. Insert the 300mm lead screw in Y-axis T-nut and then in the Y-axis end bracket. Mount Y-axis motor with M5 8mm socket head screw. Insert the screw inside the coupler, rotate it to bring the bed closer to the motor, it will align the motor, then hold the motor in place and tighten it. Rotate the screw in other direction, bring the bed closer to the end bracket and then tighten the end bracket. Now tighten the coupling screws and our Y-axis is ready now. Insert the M3 nuts in Z-axis spindle holder and gently press in place. Now place the spindle motor in holder and tight it with M3 20mm screws along with 5mm washers. Now press the 5mm by 3mm brass coupler on motor shaft. Z-axis is ready now. Cut two rods of length 400mm for X-axis and 400mm of lead screw as well. Install the SK-10 end brackets on X-axis with M5 10mm screws and M5 T-nuts. Now insert the 10mm rod from one side slide the X carriage assembly and then the rod to the other side bracket. Insert the second rod in X carriage, then mount the end brackets. Insert the 400mm lead screw in X carriage and mount the X axis motor. Install the X axis end bracket. So our mechanical assembly is complete now.
I am using Arduino Uno microcontroller with CNC shield and A4988 stepper drivers. I have 3D printed a G-Tronic CNC enclosure. Mount the Arduino with M3 8mm screws. Connect the X, Y, and Z axis wires to their respective connector on CNC shield. I used 6mm spiral sleeve to close the wires. Use M2 10mm screws to close the enclosure. Mount the electronics enclosure with M5 8mm screws. I used female barrel jack to connect the power supply for spindle and board separately. I have installed T plates on both sides of machine to give it some extra strength. So our machine is completely ready now. I am not going in details of software upload and calibration if wanna know about that please let me know in the comments. I will make a separate video for that. Check the movement of all the axes after calibration now let's start our first cut. I am using the open build controller to control the machine and Vectric Aspire to make G-code. I made this copy of Chinese CNC 3018 with minimum cost and easily available parts. Please subscribe the channel, like the video and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching the complete video, I will be making more projects like this in future.